Let's speak with Sam Bowman, who's the deputy director of the Adam Smith Institute, which I understand has today, which is a, a highly respected uh, economic institute, if you don't know what it is. Uh, you published a report. Is that today, Adam Smith? Uh, Sam Bowman, good morning. Good morning, yes, it is. Um, and, and what is the Adam Smith report saying? Um, so we've said that the tax credit system is a good idea in theory. Topping up people's wages while in work is a good thing because it takes people out of the welfare system, out of unemployment, into work. Um, and that's good, but the, comp but the system is very complex. So what we're proposing is a much, much simpler system that takes in lots of existing benefits, merges them into a single payment that we then taper away as people's earnings rise. So people will always be better off in work, and the system is automatic and very transparent, uh, as the tax credit system is not right now. But isn't that, I, I've, I note that David Cameron in the past has called this a, a, a merry-go-round. Isn't that, aren't you just continuing to keep the, the, go, the merry-going round? Well, what, what we want is um, to have a system where people who are earning a small amount do get their incomes topped up, and potentially for very long periods of time. There's not that much the government can do to make people who are low-skilled, maybe they don't, have, um, they don't have very marketable skills and so on, so they're just not going to earn very much in their lives. There's not that much the government can do to change that. Raising the minimum wage is fine for some people, but it puts other people out of work, and it can put them onto, onto benefits for their whole lives, onto uh, unemployment benefits. What this system would do would be to acknowledge that low-paid work is a problem. It is something that we're going to have to deal with. And the best way to solve it is to just give those people money. But because the system would be much, much simpler than the one we have now, we can design it so that people are always better off by taking more hours. They're always richer if they work more. But we still have this kind of little um, top-up to make their lives better as well. But does it yield the same level of savings that the Chancellor points at, which is somewhere in the region of £4.5 billion, pounds, Mr Bowman? Well, the system that we're proposing could be done through the tax system, which would mean that we could get rid of almost all of the Department of Work and Pensions, which would save about £6 billion pounds in terms of administration. Um, that's obviously a very radical step. Uh, that would actually save more than the government's calling. But um, what, we're, what we're trying to argue here for is the system um, and for kind of a change in mindset rather than a particular um, kind of set of numbers. But I do think that we could probably afford to not cut tax credits in this way if we massively reduce the amount of money we're spending on welfare administration right now. But how would you do that? How, how would you massively reduce the money? So what, what you want is to no longer be um, forcing people to go through all sorts of different means tests, you know, how many children do they have and mm. so on. All you, what you want is a system that does look at how much money are they taking in. If they're unemployed, it's zero. If they're in a part-time job on the minimum wage, it's going to be about £6,000 a year. What we want is to just look at that, as the tax system already does, because we already have the PAYE system to look at how much uh, people are earning so that we can take money away from them. So why don't we use that same system that's already looking at that to figure out how much we need to give people as well? Just lastly, without any way wishing to be offensive to you, how much is this one of these things that, whereas it looks great on paper, and um, people like you, experts, economists, can look at it and you can see how the sums in some instances add up, but it is either the delivery or the reality of these policies that cause the problems. How much is this one of those, would you say? I don't think it's one of those at all. Um, this was actually very seriously considered by both parties in the United States during the 1970s, and they did lots of experiments that um, seemed to show that this is much, much superior to existing forms of welfare. This almost went through Congress in the U.S. as a bipartisan project, where, but it was blocked, um, and the earned income tax credit, which is actually the thing that inspired the, U the U.K. tax credit, was brought in instead. But to answer your question, it's very realistic. It has been looked at before. It's almost been made a policy in the United States. Uh, politics got in the way, I'm afraid. But we think that now is the time for us to reconsider this. Clearly, the welfare system isn't working in the UK, but cutting tax credits, I think, is the wrong idea. What we need is to reform the system. Thanks very much for your input. Sam Bowman, your Deputy Director at the Adam Smith Institute, talking about uh, the report that's out today.